Right, I'm happy that the new print fits in all the right places. This even latches in place. And that latches in place. So now we need to use some of these fellas to make up some leads like I did before with a bit of hot glue in there to hold them in place. So this is where it gets a bit fun because it's a bit of a, a route to get these in there. Oh, it doesn't help if I drop it on the floor. Oh, I'm not sure if I showed you in the earlier part of the video. This is a bicycle spoke just goes through there to pivot on. I actually put a spacer there, but I don't think it's necessary because it can't go anywhere because it's got to line up there anyway. So I think that spacer was unnecessary. I'm actually a little confused as to how much video I've already done on this. Uh, anyway, that was last night's print. The new version. It actually says version 7 on it somewhere on the Tinkercad. Right, it's got to go through that hole, down through that hole, out here, one onto there, one onto there. I need to check to remember which way rounds positive and negative. And the same up here. Uh, actually, talking about which way round it goes. That one would actually be that way up. So the positive's on that side. I might just put a bit of ink on there so I know which one's which. That one's plus on that side. Then on the other side, Black and Decker battery. Plus is on the outside, which is that one. Yeah, that's important because they actually swap over. Plus on that side, plus on that side. Right, yes, okay, let's see if we can route this through. It's best to do it that way or do it the other way. Have as much as I like there. Don't really need that much, but that will be tucked up under there. Yeah, probably don't want it too long. In fact, if I leave that sticking up, I'll crimp these on, put them in place. Oh, I probably need to take that out anyway. And then these fellas. Should cut them a bit long, but mm, be all right.
it. All right. Right, can we? That's got to go through there. That. Like that. Push them as far through as possible. And then put some hot glue on there. So really do with something holding on there. Make sure they're sticking out as far as possible. All right, hot glue. We'll leave that to cool for a few minutes. All right, and these positives got to end up there. I think it's gonna to have to wobble around a bit to get there. Let's cut this off a little bit long. Yeah, it's gonna to have to come around like that somehow. Whereas that one could be shorter. Although it won't matter if it, yeah, it would be all right. Make sure we get the right one positive over that side. Okay. Just on a very slight side track. The other day I went into Lidl and they'd got packs of these spade terminals and other crimp connectors. Went in there today just to get a few more. And of course, they didn't have any. That's trouble with little. You really got to buy stuff as soon as you see it. Because the next time you want it, it's never there. I'm probably overdoing it with a double crimp. Right, red is going to be up here as far as possible. And black or negative on there as far as possible. Always the same, gonna need another 
with a strip of hot glue. Mustn't be impatient, got to let it cool down. Put me thingy back on. Okay, that's in place. That's in place. And that's working. So I suppose we've got to go outside and give it a quick test. I'll go and put my hat camera on. Right, hat camera. Just a little thing before I start. Somebody commented that the strimmer was too short for somebody of my height. Well, it is adjustable. You just undo these somehow and it slides in and out. Uh, this was a friend's anyway, so I've never spent any time with it, no reason to, other than now that I've fixed it, I might make use of it. Anyway, we'll just have a little strim around here. I don't know if there's anything particular that needs strimming, but we'll give it a go. Undo that. There we go, a bit longer. Daisies.
complete success. Job done. Just a quick summary. So this is a Parkside PAP20A1 battery. 20 volt, 2000 milliamp hour, 40 watt hour. 51 or 5INR18 stroke 65, whatever that is. Manufactured in 2019. I've had these for quite a while and never used them. I do hope they haven't changed the uh, fittings for later batteries. And the battery we're replacing is this Black and Decker, Decker A18H1. And that one is 2010. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.